What's going on guys, it's Gonzo here. So today I'm gonna work on a small project and I've been thinking about working for a while now. I'm gonna turn my rifle case into a pistol case. See that? So my biggest problem is always taking a bunch of uh, pistols to the gun range and I have a, a good variety and usually I take them uh, when I'm taking my, my buddies out to shoot somebody that's never shot before. It's always a pain in the butt to store them and I hate having like 20 different cases of 20 different sizes, so that sucks. So today I'm gonna make this right here into a pistol case. Luckily, I work at Cabela's where I get a good deal on, you know, that right there. Good case. It's a good case that I even, I've had about 200 pounds inside of it. Don't ask me how and why, but it's happened. First thing I'll be doing is actually putting this felt down. It's real soft and all it is a real thin thing just so I could, uh, so that's some kind of shock absorbent just cause I'm gonna cut a hole right where the magwell goes. So that's where it's gonna be. All right, so now I have separated everything. So by one inch and a half, while these holes right here are gonna be at about a little bit under an inch and that's where the gun's gonna fit. This is just a prototype, but this is how it looks for now. I want it to stand up straight. Uh, that's going to go second after I cut the hole through there. Yeah, that's it. So it came across my first error in the whole process. And like it fits nice, but as soon as I start putting more guns in there, it starts to take up space on the next triangle or sorry, rectangle. Right, so this curves and makes everything so much more tighter. So all the you know extra tight guns are just gonna be tight. Could I still work with this? Yes, mainly because I could probably start putting magazines in here and make it look fine. But it gets the problem once you go into double stacks, right? So what I'm gonna end up doing is probably gonna reconfigure the like even here, see how that's pretty tight. This is kind of what I want, but I don't want it. Yeah. Give me a hard choice. I could probably make the holes a little bit bigger, which that's probably going to end up doing. Uh, and that just makes everything tighter as far as the magazine, so the magazines are not moving around a bunch. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. So, I got all my guns in there now. Maybe the only one missing is the Glock 19, but that's more my carry gun. So, there is that. So, the only thing that worries me right now is this right here. The RMR on that thing could probably get squished down, but it really doesn't still. Like, it gets squished down by foam, and I'm not too worried. I'm not worried at all about being cracked. And if I am worried, I could maybe cut out a little bit of it, of this, of that top piece. But, yeah, it holds pretty good. So once I close it down... Now it's sealed tight. You know, I press this button right here. We're supposed to take all the air out, and then we're set. So, yeah, overall, I'm happy with what I've done here. It seemed a little tight, but now I could take go to the range and take pretty much all my pistols and not have to carry like 20 different cases for 20 different guns, which is an extra wreck, really. Exaggerating because I can fit a lot more guns here. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and uh, nine with a possible ten, and that's for down the road. So I could ten fit ten guns here. I don't think it's that bad. Ten guns, ten gun case for about a hundred bucks. Yeah. <laughs> 